Today I want to do part two of solving one-step equations. Um, and let's just review what we did, what we talked about in the last video. In the last video I gave you these problems. And uh, these were two of the first basic equations. I told you needed, there were four basic equations. In this problem you had to subtract three on both sides. This problem we added four to both sides and we checked it of course and the final two problems we talked about dividing both sides by four the division property of equality and we talked about with this problem you had two options you could either divide both sides by one half or you could multiply both sides by this the the reciprocal of one half and we solved it and checked it but in the last video I didn't give you time to actually practice on your own so what I'd like for you to do I would like for you to copy these problems down and and solve them and check and when I come back I'll go over the problem with you make sure you have those correct so please place your place your computer on pause and solve these problems. Thank you. Okay, we're back. Uh, these are the four problems I asked you to work and hopefully you had some success with them with your with actual work and check. Again, uh, these problems I'm pretty sure you could actually look at these problems and find it and know the correct answer. But again, we're, we're trying to get to the bigger picture of solving more challenging equations. So you need to go through the process, and that's what we're practicing the process of solving these equations. Okay, the first problem you had was x plus 12 equals 20. You should have subtracted 12 on both sides. These 12's created zeros and so there's nothing left which leaves you with x equals 20 minus 12 is 8. Then I hope you checked. You should have wrote the original problem down. Substitute the 8 in for the x. And you have 8 plus 12 over here, which is, I'm sorry, this is 20. Sorry. That's 20. 8 plus 12 is 20. And you have 20 on both sides. And we said since you ended up with the same uh, value on both sides of the equations, that the check is correct and this is correct. The next problem you had was x minus 19 equals 21. You should have added 19 to both sides. Again, you have a zero here. If you have not wa watched the video on adding e adding integers, please watch that video yeah, so I can explain this process in, in detail. You have x equals, that's going to be 21 plus 19, that's going to be 40. So let's check it. x minus 19 equals 21. I'm going to substitute my 40 in for my x. 40 minus 19, 40 minus 19. Now let me go over here and just, and just subtract. I'm going through this process so you can see it. 40 minus 19 is 21. 21 on this side, and you bring this 21 down. This is correct, and this is also correct. And I did this because I wanted you to know that it's okay to do work on the side, and you don't have to erase it. It's okay for you to actually do, do any subtraction or multiplication or division on the side. That's okay. 
who cares if you if you have this over here? No one cares, just as long as you have the process down. Okay? The next problem. is 6x equals 30. So we're going to divide both sides by 6. The 6's, 6 divided by 6, creates 1. So we have 1x equals 30 divided by 6 is 5. And we know that we can either write 1x equals 5 or we can just write x equals 5. So let's check it. 6x equals 30. 5, substitute your 5 in for your x, so 6 times 5 equals 30. 6 times 5 is 30, and 30 over here on this side. Both sides ended up being the same, so that's correct, and so therefore x equals 5. And the last problem you have, 1 third x equals 7. I want to apply the, I want to Multiply both sides by the reciprocal of one third, which is three over one. <clears throat> three times one is three. One times three is three. X equals twenty one. We know that three over three equals one. X equals twenty one. And we know that instead of writing one X equals twenty one, we can just write X equals twenty one. So let's check it. One third x equals seven. I want to substitute twenty-one in for my x. One times twenty-one is twenty-one. One times three is three. Equals seven. Twenty-one divided by three, that is seven. On this side, seven on this side, it works. And so therefore, we know that x equals twenty-one. Again, thank you for viewing. If you have any more questions or if you have additional subjects you'd like me to cover, I'd be more than happy to cover them. Just send me an email at mathwithmoon at gmail.com and I'll be more than happy to, um, to help you. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.